Hey y'all, welcome to my first vlog. Um, today is Sunday and I'm about to make breakfast for Mike and I. If anybody works retail, you already know that we should all be at work today because it's Black Friday weekend. But as far as what I have seen, as far as my business in store this weekend, this whole week, it's not good. It's not happening. So it's not worth me going in today. Instead, it's going to be you and me, okay? Let's talk about what's going to go down today. So breakfast, obviously, first. I have leftover ham from Thanksgiving. I'm going to put a little bit of this in our eggs this morning. Um, what else? We're going to be doing legs at the gym today mike and i and hopefully i can get some footage for you guys um we'll see how that goes and i'm gonna show you my super cute gym outfit that i'm gonna put on today um obviously i have not been eating at my potential so i'm feeling a little fluffy <clears throat> i'm also very sick and why am i going to the gym you ask because I didn't go yesterday. That's the only answer I got for you. I did take yesterday off the gym, which is weird for me. And I just I just can't take another day off. But So I got Lex today. Hopefully I can put an outfit on that I still feel cute in. But I'm like slightly uncomfortable in to teach my ass a lesson, okay? Because you should not be comfortable, uncomfortable in your gym clothes. And if you are, you got to work a little harder. That's it. That's it. So let's fire this up. Get a little ham in here. I did not weigh this or measure this. Um, like I said, this is a fitness journey, a health journey, you know, a lifestyle journey that I'm documenting. I mean, not only for myself, but obviously for anybody that wants to come watch. And I go on and off with macros. I know how to count macros. I literally have written down a set list of macros depending on my goals. Like I already have that calculated for myself. It's just hard to do. Like macros, and everyone's gonna have a different opinion about it. Some people think that macros is like lifestyle friendly. Like counting macros gives you the flexibility obviously to eat whatever you want whenever you want in a limitation which is great but the whole like process of even just calculating everything to me is not an easy lifestyle like method I should, that's the word method um, I would love to be like an amazing intuitive eater but unfortunately I'm just not a good intuitive eater because I like to put Thanksgiving ham in my eggs but it's fine. So I'm gonna have this now and then you know just I'm just gonna work at it during the day. I'll just, you know, have a banana with peanut butter, have a protein bar, you know, some protein ice cream. Like I'll just, you know, get it together for the rest of the day because I really wanna eat this now. And that that's how I do it. That's how we do it here. See here. We are sizzling. Mmm. And we're back. So, I'm gonna start plating these eggs. I'm gonna have mine on a couple rice cakes and then Mike is gonna have a bagel, BRB. Yes, let's toast up this bagel. Toast up my man's bagel. And this is, excuse me, I like really don't feel good. This is, um kind of a larger breakfast but we are gonna go hit legs right after this like I said so y'all are gonna get to see a real leg day today and I'm so excited so let's talk about actually like working on and stuff because that's I know like I started this whole like social media thing out of nowhere doing my makeup and I do love beauty and makeup obviously that's the world that I work in and um, I love that stuff but like fitness is like 
my number one you know like i really like working out like i obsess over it i like it so much i don't know what i would do if like i didn't have the gym the gym is like my thing and again i see this all the time i am really good at working out i'm not so good at the eating part and that's the part that i know I need to work on and this is holding me accountable right now this is gonna hold me accountable my progress is gonna be held accountable here everything and I'm ready for it I'm ready for you if you're ready for me so let me start getting my rice cakes together I do if you guys want to know I don't have like a workout split I basically just work out whatever's like not sore um, I do have a shoulder day I have a back day I do buys and tries um, I just started doing chest, so chest is now going to be a day, and I do legs. So I always do work a separate body part on a different day. I do, however, try to hit legs like two or three days a week. And most of it is glute focused. So I will be sharing tips and tricks with y'all because I know you want that. All right, so I'm gonna plate this breakfast for us. I'm doing it on rice cakes. Mike's gonna have bagels. Obviously, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. And then we're gonna go to the really cute gym outfit that we're gonna wear today, okay? All right. Now, if I've ever seen a masterpiece, <laughs> I mean, if I thought I'd seen one before, I lied to myself, because these eggs is looking good as hell. Zoe, what you think about those, girl? What do you think about those eggs? Girl, you're so cute. Everybody wants to see you. Everybody wants to see you, girl, because you're the cutest. <laughs> I just hit record and Mike is standing in his underwear. Oops. We are not on the same page yet. It's fine. <laughs> okay. All right, well, I'm bringing you into my closet, so the lighting's probably going to be a little weird. And whose side is this? Who are we looking at? Oh, this is my side. So this is my side of the closet. Okay, this is me. And then this is going to be all, I got some gym clothes over here. This is all leggings and gym clothes here, all of this. And then... I got some more. Did you see that? I got some more in here. So we're about to pick an outfit. I'm going to go from drab to fab. BRB. The, let's talk about why the midriff is showing right now. Because I think Mike knows I don't always show stomach but like i said earlier like i have been eating not so good for the last few days and i don't feel that good about myself and if i'm like easily able to cover myself up in like big tank tops and like you know like bigger clothes i feel like i'll never you know get my ass in shape like i'll never push a little bit harder at the gym sometimes you need to be a little bit uncomfortable so you're like all right let's do this so let's go to the gym <laughs> Yeah. 
muy está calor. the vlog back to the day in my life um a lot has happened here's mike welcome hello welcome to youtube a couple things i got home from the gym mike is serving up plates because i'm gonna eat again because i haven't eaten since breakfast since what you guys saw but a little bit of an update mind your way okay just my hairs all over the food are you <laughs> sorry it's delicious let me move sorry um Came home from the gym, had a mental breakdown. So I got on Facebook Live. If you're not watching my Facebook Lives, you should be. I had a mental breakdown um, during my shower, during my shave, during my laser, during my self tan. And I decided this is, I cannot go downhill right now. So I threw on my Facebook Live, I talked it out. And now I feel better. And yes, I'm a different color because I self-tanned my face as well. Um, and I'm going to show you. Actually, Mike is going to present our... I don't want to say dinner. But meal number two is being presented. Thank you. So on this plate, there are some... It's pasta on the bottom. And I will... I'll make the recipe for you guys one day. We'll have to do it together. It's not super healthy, but it's a really spicy, um, I made it with chile poblanos pasta. There's just mixed vegetables, which are Brussels sprouts, carrots, um, and zucchini and asparagus, just seasoned. That's it. And then there's turkey breast on top of this. I'm probably going to drench it in ketchup. And this is going to be meal number two. All right. Stay tuned for the next one. Love you guys. <laughs> so i know i already closed out this video like it should have been closed already but here we go again because i'm doing something right now that i'm not proud of and i'm not about to be sneaky and not show this to you so do you guys remember those and i keep looking at the screen i shouldn't be doing that oops it's fine do you guys remember me talking about the Airwick air fresheners and how amazing they are and how they last so much longer and I'm only going to use Airwick because, you know, blah, blah, blah. I hope you like heard that in one of my live videos. I said I'm never going to buy a wallflower ever again. But I'm standing here, you should know, I'm standing here in my kitchen right now replacing <laughs> all of my wallflowers that I just bought and I'm not proud of myself for purchasing these but the sale got the best of me so I will let you guys know when I fully transition out of this Bath and Body Works and into just Airwick and Aldi candles but as of right now I'm being very hypocritical and I'm using them both but it's fine I just thought I'd let you guys know I love you bye <laughs>